everybody and welcome to Get Swamp. I'm Z and we just dealt with the hurricane and stuff so we uh, had to check around everything. We only had a little few branches but nothing to hurt the hurt the fences and all that and now we gotta get back to our usual stuff so now we're going to go feed so come on let's go. Hit the thumbs up guys now's a good time. Let's go. All right, Z, let's go. Let's go down to the, uh, let's go down to the end down here. Down on the peninsula. We'll feed from there today. Whoo. Look at those beautiful blue skies. After you get a hurricane that comes through. We had a blue moon last night. It, it, blue. it, it did look kind of blue. It did. I think we got to fix those wheels on that thing, Z. Z, should we dump a load right, throw a shovel full down in there? Okay. The water level's already going down. Oh, that's some yummy stuff. Nick, come on. You want you want you want to have lunch? I rather stick with barbacoa. Barbacoa instead? Okay. All right. Whew. That does stink. But there's no uh there's no mobile rice on it, so All right, there's some in that pond. So they'll find that, and we'll go out here and, oh, I'm trying to crush break that. We gotta mow that. Let's see who's over here, Z. Somebody was up here earlier. They went down in the water when must've heard us coming. You can see all the tracks. Gator, gator, gator. Oh, that's one. Yeah, there's a good one. Zia, we'd probably start right here. There's two right there. Just throw them in a shovel full. We got a big adventure coming up after this. We're going to go introduce... Nick to one of our friends. No response. It's, they're, they're moving that's out. That little one. Yeah, that's a big, big female. Z, try throwing one over here right by this one. He's like, ah. I'm not hungry. There's a little mobile rice on that one. No thanks. Come on, Gators! Come on! Come on! Come on! Is there anybody right here? I don't see anyone over here. There's some signs over there. There's some what? Someone over there. Someone over there, down there. Come on, gators! Yeah, we don't have many people coming out right now. All these peeps are trying to stay cool in the mud in the... Too hot. Yeah. Z, let's throw that in down there. The rest of that. We'll get that thrown in and then we'll get out of here because... We got to take Nick to a special, special place. Oh, there's a big one right over there. 
Yeah, they're staying out there in that deeper water and all. But they'll come up in here. They'll smell this and then they'll forage the bottom for it. What? <laughs> Nick, where are you going? I don't know. <laughs> Nick, you don't like the smelly stuff? Not really. Will you take a bite of it? Oh, heck no. I thought you liked it. No. I'm not taking a bite of that. I'll leave that to the alligators. They're the ones with the stomachs that are made of steel. I'm made with a stomach of barbecue. That had some mobile rice on it. There's a gator down there eating. Yeah. He's sitting right there under the tree. one of the females eating over there coming out all right now as we go they're going to start coming up right oh here comes another one right through there All right, you can go. I'm watching this gator come up. Oh, there's a piece I can kick that in. They are being so shy. We walk away and she'll come up. That one stopped eating because I'm filming. What's the matter? You guys don't like eating on camera? They're like, stop filming us when we're eating. All right, let's go find Nick and Z. It's amazing how fast the water drains in here. Uh -huh, buzzard trying to get some of that food that we threw in that hole. <laughs> Hear the splashing back there? Gators. Oh, there's a big one. I didn't even see him when we came up. You guys see his head right there? That's a big one. His tail's way over here. See the tail? That's a good sized gator. They're all around. We just need a lot of rain, man. I wonder if this marsh is going to fill up this year. I wish we could put a permanent marsh cam out here mount it to like this post where the light is and like mount a camera way up there like this so we could have a 24-hour marsh cam where you could watch the gator marsh at any given moment. I'm coming, I'm coming, guys. Hold on. I gave the 
Piggy's a bunch of beef over here, so they stayed up here eating. They had some steak, some beef, and we're out of here. I'm not doing this stuff. You're not doing what? Creating flies for our European bee eaters. Oh. Uh. Not fun. It's not? You gotta put out meat so they come? Uh, they pull out mobile rice from the leftover bucket. Uh huh. That's put in the sun. Oh. And you need to dig in deep until it feels warm. Oh. I know, right? Then what do you do with the mobile rice? Set it till the, so it. it becomes flies? Yeah, you put it in a. Uh, in a tub with holes in it in the indoor enclosure and then the. They will become flies someday and they'll fly out. In a couple days. Yeah. Yeah, their lifespan is very short. Mine is as well if I need to do that often. <laughs> Mine is as well. Nick says if I have to do it that often. All right. So we're going to get in the truck go to a special place where I think Nick will really enjoy. I think he'll have some fun seeing this stuff. What do you think, Nick? Well, don't tell him where we're going, though. I don't know. It's a secret. How would you know? Because I told him where I'm going to take him, but... Oh, you told him, but you I didn't told... tell me? Ah, uh, I told you earlier, if you remember. Okay, well, you already know me. I don't, so. <laughs> See, you already know I forgot. <laughs> Z, you might have dementia. It runs in the family. Oh, all right. Let's get in the truck and go. All right. So we're on our way to a special place. A little treat for Nicholas, but first things first. We had to stop and get tacos because it's taco day. I don't know whose this is, what it is. We'll open it up and look. Jesus yep. Mark. It says steak. And then Nick and I, of course, got barbacoa, which is our favorite. So it is time for some yummy tacos. And then on to the secret, secret place where you guys will hopefully enjoy. You guys got to go there before with me. Throwing so onions. That's not onions, that was uh, a thing of uh, lime. Have I been there before? Yes, you have been there before. I told you where it was, but you forgot. And Nick has never been there, though. Because we tried to go last year. It's green. But it was, uh... No, it wasn't hurricane. We just ran out of time. Doing everything. You want green sauce on yours? We'll take it. This year he gets to go. Because we got some time today. And I called my buddy Jeff and he said, yeah, he's home. Mm. Mm. Barbacoa, delicious. It's what's for lunch today. All right. We're back on the road. So let's get there because we got to do this, then get back to the farm and do a bunch of stuff. This is so yummy. I wish you guys could taste it. We'll see you guys at this special place. 
All right, Nick. Nick, we're here. We're here. I think you'll like this place. I think. Destination is on your left. We're here, buddy. This is this is a cool spot. All right, we'll pull right up here. park right here and we'll uh, get out go meet Jeff and show you around. Right, go playing this shit, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff. <laughs> oh my goodness. Jeff, it's always a pleasure, sir. All right. How you and doing, buddy? Good, good, good. <laughs> and this is our buddy Nick. He's from the Netherlands. He's like a, he's family. And um, he is actually in biology and he is actually going into the pouched animals he loves. <laughs> All the uh, marsupials. Marsupials and macropods or uh, everything? Everything, okay. Yeah, he is, he is like, he's going to Australia. Nice. When? On next uh, summer? Next September. Next September. A year from now. Very cool. Yep, and he's been doing stuff all over Europe with the uh, people all over in all the zoos. Been going to visit and learning a lot. He's he's head over heels into this. Nice. Nice he zoo. would like for a zoo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Which zoo? It's, uh, it's called Best Zoo. City. Of course, yeah. C city yeah. is called Best. <laughs> yeah, but it's a very small one. Yeah. But we have a lot of uh, marsupials, so it's pretty cool. Nice. They have a lot of cool animals there for being a private zoo. They have a lot of cool. The owner is. What's the owner's name? Uh, Jos. I think I've corresponded with him. Could very well be. Very, very. He has, some, he has a lot of uh, macropods at home as well. Ah. A big group of wallaroos and okay. rats and watermelons. And I'm at the zoo. We have nice. more wallaroos, parmas, Tasmanian wombats. And even more small stuff. Pretty cool. All right. All right. Well, I told you, you got to meet my friend Jeff because he is the only guy in the United States who also has the forest wallabies and working with them, and as well as a huge group. It's the only ones that we know of. Right. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. And a huge group of reds, grays. He's got albinos. He's got everything here on the farm. It's so big and it's so awesome. So let's go check this stuff out, Nick. Let's check it out. Nick, check that out. What is that? He, he looks like a pit bull of the uh, kangaroo family. Kind of does, right? Yeah, he's, he's stocky, man. He's got some beefy. They're very muscular. What is that? That's a wallaroo. That's a wallaroo? I thought you guys were messing with me saying a wallaroo. That's what it is, a wallaroo. A wallaroo. What's yeah. a wallaroo, Jeff? A wallaroo is a different species of uh, kangaroo. Look how beefy they are. And its size is between a kangaroo and a wallaby. Okay. All it's right. It's a mixture of the two. It's a, it's a different species. And then you got reds in here as well? Yep. We got reds in here. I'm, I'm telling you what, that wallaroo is cool looking. That's the male. The females look different. They're one of the few, uh, well, not one of the few, but they're one of the few macropods where there is some sexual dimorphism. So the males are real dark. There's a female over there to the left. Oh, she, yeah. And there's two red kangaroos. Two red kangaroos over there. And there's a female wallaroo. And another female wallaroo. So those are the two female wallaroos. Those are kind of cool looking, Jeff. And there's a big red. There's another wallaroo. They're kind of cool. What do you think, Z? Yeah, no, they're, they are kind of cool. Honestly. <laughs> And that may be what these are, but I mean, it's like, yeah. 
Same. Ah, just exactly. be normal. What I'm saying is, I'm pretty sure I said that they're like no. the closest related to the rats. What was okay. it? They're like closer related to the rats than the rats are to the grays. That's interesting. Yeah. What are the wallaroos? Yeah. So the grays are um, Macropus giganteus, and the, these both are from the Osfranter family. A like complete different family, even though they're both like like uh, gray giants and red giants. They are so neat. They're really cool. Even the females are cool looking. Yeah, how much how much space do you guys give the uh, oh. mob of gray? All right, Nick. We're gonna have Nick swim with the uh, Nick. Get in there and swim with the cappies. Show us how they do it in the Netherlands. Look at the big guys. That's one big rat. Yeah, that's the largest rodent in the world. There. Yeah. Hi, guys. Catch Rosie. Oh, we didn't bring anything to eat. I'm sorry, girl. Oh, she's gonna be mad now. I love this. This is this is neat. Yeah, they enjoy it. They got their own pond now instead yeah. of using the pool. The wife gets the pool back. Yeah, it's kind of sad. <laughs> but nonetheless, you're welcome to go for a swim. We'll Nick, let's go for a swim. Yeah. Climb on in there, Nick. No, I'm good. What do you mean you're good? You don't want to swim with capybaras? No. Nah. Really? You don't really have anything dry with you. Ah, uh, we'll dude. Fix you. Dry. <laughs> Who needs dry? Alrighty. You know, when it comes to a chance to don't getting in the, in the water with animals, glasses. I'm in. Glasses. How do we get them in here? Glasses and headphones. Cappies, come here. Let's go swimming. Rosie, how deep is this? Uh, 10 feet. Is it really? <laughs> no. <laughs> you could probably walk across here. Oh. Watch out for the alligators. You're not afraid of gators. Ah, that um, I could care less. Rosie! Yeah. Let's go swimming! I'm, I'm sitting here waiting for capybaras. Jeff tells me it's 10 feet deep. I don't... I must have grouped. I mean, you're not in the center yet, so... Well, I'm not getting in the center if they're not coming. Rosie! Oh, leave it to Rosie. You know she's going to be stubborn. Her name is Rosie. All right, well, I guess I'm not swimming with capybaras. Oh, thank you, Z. Yep. So much for swimming with cappies. But they're cool. Yeah. We're, we're... <laughs> they're yelling at you, see? <laughs> they said, stop filming us.
You guys move quick for rats. They're like guinea pigs, more or less, I think. They're cool. Oh. Oh, the swamp wallaby Z. They're so cute. Yeah, it took a long time to get our... Uh... How many do you have now, swamps? Oh, these swamps? There's about a dozen here. I think there's three males, nine females. But don't hold me to that. How's your zoo project coming? Uh, slowly, surely. Oh, look at how beautiful. Cute little buggers. All right, on to the... Your bamboo's coming in nice. Yep. But to kind of keep everybody together. It's coming in nice. We moved some. Yeah. It didn't move real well, but it needs some water. It's been a dry year, man. Holy it God. has. Everywhere else, it's and been wet. The winter was super hard on a bunch of our stuff. Yep. We lost a whole lot of, whole lot of different woods. All right, on to the next area nick see i love how he has this how his pens can be shut off are opened yeah. up and mul multiple pens or he can lock them down you got about roughly 95 more for five oh, wow. but it's amazing i mean you don't see them that often you know what i mean <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. see the little guy yeah. We were, we were, uh, we were, had been to the Netherlands a couple of times. Oh, really? There's a couple right there in these bamboo, Nick. Oh, that guy in Belgium, the, uh, he is the, what's his name? No, not the big one, I guess. Is it the big one? Where he's he has a, the whales? He's got an incredible operation. We were there, it's probably been 15 years ago, I haven't uh, talked to him. It could be uh, it's, per, per, per Diesel, was it called back then? No, it's... Per Diesel? No, it's... Um, he's not, he wasn't open to the public, you know, mm. but he had uh, agile wallabies at the time. Look at the little wallaby heads looking at us. What are those? Agile. Those are the agiles. They're nice. They are cool. There's about 30 of those. You, I was going to say, you breed a lot of Agiles, right? Well, we have a lot of Agiles. The Agiles have not been producing well. Really? Really. That's uh, albino Agiles? No, that's an albino uh, Eastern Gray. Uh, any of those in Europe? Not that I've heard of. Are there more Agiles? Yup. Yeah. They're pretty rare in uh, uh, yeah, I can't remember what this guy's name was. Um, he had a lot the of... The Baron. What was it? It's He's a Baron. No, it's not that zoo. It's not that zoo, Nick? No, that's been open for 30 years already. Oh. He's got the most incredible zoo. Yeah, this guy's not... He has... He's not open to the public at all. This guy's... We'll walk over this way. Put in hotel. These are Eastern Grays? These are all Eastern Grays, yeah. And then there's more wallabies down here. Corn. Yeah, the place is set up for them, not for the public, so. Yeah. yeah. These guys are so, that's one big kangaroo. Yeah, he's an old boy. We brought him down from Michigan. He was a few years old when we brought him down. Is he the biggest one you have? Uh, at the moment, he probably is. Him or the other guy. 
Big old boy oak. Over there, there's a couple big ones way over there. You, are there, do you have many uh, gray kangaroos in the Yeah, in the grays Europe are or? probably, from the kangaroos, the grays are definitely the most common. Really? Well, that's interesting. Grays and... Um, Easterns or Westerns? Eastern. Okay. You have a few Westerns as well. But yeah, that's one, one we've never owned was a Western. I've seen, I've been on a um, little road trip through the UK last month. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's, that's they're so cool. over there. There's little wallabies and then there's a big albino gray. Oh, this place is set up so nice. So nice, man. Oh, he's got all these pens. That he can separate them off or he can leave them open like he's got them. And they can go between pens and pens and hang out with each other and coexist together. It's cool. Now, if we could only learn to coexist together. Oh, man, I love this. It's so neat. Z, I think we got to build a kangaroo area like this. Like this, two pens. It'd be pretty neat. All right, That's let's... an interesting design for the gate, too, right there. What? The double door. Yeah. He's got a door inside the gate. Yeah. So. Pretty cool. Yeah. All right. Let's go catch up with Nick and Jeff. Yeah. Z, these are cool. These are the Agiles. And the swamps are right there. There's four of them over there. Look at them. They're so neat. There's another swamp over there. There's a big albino eastern gray. Jeff, do you ever mow in here? You come in and just mow it down and... Yeah, you can see where it's been. Yeah, I know by the gates you do, but do you ever do... Yeah, sometimes we'll put a path or two through there. Yeah. Because it seems... I know like when Robbie, we used to cut, he used to love it because the sweet grass, yeah, they like when it's the, coming like in... Stuff. Yeah. Amazing, amazing. You still have your emus? Yeah, we're going to we'll go see the emus. We got to be real quiet when we walk by the one of these pens up here. Right. We got a sick girl. All right. Check that out, guys. Baby Eastern Grays. Two girls. Two little girls, and they're out of the pouch, and oh, they're so cute. But this is the time of day they normally sleep. Yeah, the heat of the day. So you got it smarter than we are. Exactly. Yeah. That's unbelievable. That uh, those are kittens you couldn't have. Born. They're so cute. See? Mm -hmm. Okay. Don't you just want to cuddle them? Yeah. Mm. Oh. Interesting. Hi, girl. So the roof is back to the, we call them pecans, but uh, now that's an endangered species, so were they able to keep over here to take a drink? Yeah, I got offered a pot of roof from this. Uh, I'm surprised you don't know Martin. Cool, that is so neat. You got any pictures? Oh my goodness, check this out. This is incredible. There's a little baby gray kangaroo, and there's a baby swampy. How adorable. And now Nick is like really jealous because I have become a human marsupial. That's right. I got two pouches though. Ha! <laughs>
No, I'm just kidding. Check out Nick. He's over there with a baby red. Oh my goodness. These are just adorable. You guys, see, he, he's just, just as cute as you were when you were a baby. <laughs> but then you grew this stuff on your face and now he, doesn't fit in the pouch he doesn't fit in the pouch anymore. He's too big. His legs are longer. Yeah, he's got long legs. <laughs> <laughs> he, he likes to stretch them. <laughs> but these guys are absolutely you don't do well in <laughs> adorable. And Jeff, we want to thank you for letting Nick come out and meet your wonderful, incredible animals out here. And uh, you just stay there. I'll show myself out there, right. Jeff. <laughs> um, we'll, we'll, I'll give you a call later on, buddy. Don't worry about us. We know the way out and everything. So we'll talk to you later. I got to get baby. I got to get a baby wallaby again or a kangaroo. We'll see what we end up getting. But we got to build a, a bigger pen if we go with these guys. Because they need the room. They need room to run. Yeah. Look how cute. Isn't that adorable? You know, that's what I'm thinking. Oh, beautiful. All right, guys, we'll see you guys in a little while. Well, Nick, what'd you think? Was that a cool surprise? That was great. That was so cool. <laughs> you got to spend time with some pouches. Yeah. I'm surprised we didn't catch Nick trying to climb in a pouch. <laughs> We're taking a pouch. <laughs> What's that, Z? We're taking a pouch. <laughs> he had a pouch. We saw that. We didn't take it. <laughs> it's neat. I love going down to Jeff's. All the yeah. different uh, kangaroos and the wallabies. And now I got to tell you, Nick, I really like those. What are they? Wallaroos. 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 Those are pretty neat. Those guys look like that male. Again, intimidating. Though. <laughs> but they don't get that big, Z. Again, it's like one of those, it, it looks like he has a Napoleon complex. <laughs> See, are you trying to tell me uh, he intimidated you? Yes, he looked like he could kill me. <laughs> that was still a baby. Oh my oh, goodness. Oh great, that's even worse. <laughs> yeah, they get even bigger. Oh great. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Well, let us know which ones you guys like. I like the albinos too. He had the albino yeah. uh, wallabies and the albino grays, which were pretty we neat. Still be considered gray. Well, obviously it's an albino gray, so it's still a gray. Yeah, but would you still call it a gray? Okay, call it a white gray. Is that better? Yeah. That's better. <laughs> oh my goodness! I hope you guys enjoyed going down there and seeing those. Um, it's always fun to check out stuff like new stuff and even I learned something today with the uh, Wallaroos. Yeah. Those were pretty uh, intimidating. Yeah. I've seen them, but they're pretty cool looking too. Yeah, but no, they are. It's just... he, he did tell us though, you can't really uh, put them in a large group because they always try to be the dominant. So, um, maybe we stick to wallabies, different types of wallabies, yeah. except for the wallaroos, because they're like a cross, they're, they're the intermediate of the kangaroo and the wallaby, huh? Oh, they're pretty big. Yeah, they are big. They are big. But we might have to build a pen and do a bunch of them, because they're pretty cool. His pens are neat. How he's got them set up like that, Z. And it's pretty, pretty awesome to walk in there with all those guys. But there's pretty standoffish, huh? Yeah. Is most of them are. Yeah. Are your guys as standoffish as well? Yeah. All of them. Even if you raise them, huh? Yeah. Like Robbie used to be friendly, and he used to come right up to you when you go in there. Used to love people, but Z used to go in there and box with them all the time. Yeah. 
Z can't go in and box with a Wallaroo. He's scared he'll get his butt kicked. That would be a nice <laughs> challenge. <laughs> I'm gonna try that. He's like, nope, I'll pass. Gloves are coming off on that one. Oh, look at my championship belt. <laughs> that undefeated. Right? Oh my goodness. But definitely a fun day. Now we're headed back to the farm and we got some stuff to do there. So we're in the truck, driving back. Who knows what else we can get into? We'll see. Alright, see you guys at the farm.